Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Views can be a useful way to hide complexity from developers, but that can in turn cause problems. It's easy to write apparently simple statements that result in extremely complex SQL being sent to the server. The DBMS Utility Expand SQL text procedure expands references to views, turning them into subqueries in the original statement. This functionality was introduced in Oracle 12.1 and we'll show a simple example of it here. We create a view called EMPV. Most of the columns in the select list come from the employees table. The department name comes from the departments table. The two tables are joined together using the department number column. What we've done here is hide the join between the tables inside the view so a developer doesn't need to worry about it. This allows us to issue a simple statement to the server which as expected returns the employee data along with the department name from the departments table. If we didn't notice this was a view, we might be fooled into thinking we've sent a simple query to the server, but what really happened? On the surface, we don't know unless we understand the view definition. Remember, a view is just a stored query. When we include a view in our SQL, the server must expand our statement to include the query defined by that view. Oracle 12.1 introduced the expand SQL text procedure in the DBMS utility package. This procedure allows us to expand references to views so we can see the full statement. We define a clob variable. We call the expand SQL text procedure, passing the SQL statement and use the clob variable as the output variable to hold the expanded SQL. Then we display the SQL. We can see what comes out looks more complicated than select star from empv. It's not formatted so it's hard to read. So let's look at a formatted version of the output. The select star has been expanded into a full column list from the view. Let's ignore that and scroll down to look at what happened to the empv reference in the from clause. We can see the empv reference has been expanded into the full view definition. We have the full select list from the view. Then we have the join between the employees and departments table. There are a couple of things to notice here. The ANSI join from our view definition is now a WHERE clause join. You will see a lot of odd looking column aliases. This is just to prevent any name clashes. You will see they get resolved back to the proper names in the select list. Just to hammer home the point, remember the MV reference in our initial statement has now become this. This in itself is not a terrible thing, but you can imagine that as views get more complex, and you start joining views to other views, things can become quite tricky behind the scenes, while still looking simple on the surface. It pays to be careful with views. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.